Hi, everybody. Um, wow, look at this crowd. This is awesome. Um, so m my name is Mark Dunning. I'm the uh, chairman of the Usher Syndrome Coalition, uh, and I'm also the father of a 19-year-old uh, daughter who has Usher Syndrome Type 1B. Um, so this is, uh, I am not just one of the speakers, I'm also one of you guys, I'm one of the families uh, here. Um, and uh, I, my job today is to, uh, to kind of introduce what the purpose is of, of the meeting here and what we hope to accomplish. Um, I also want to let you know that um, you will see on your chairs there's um, uh, flyers about uh, taking pictures for the Usher Syndrome Society. And we would love to get people's photos. Uh, you've probably seen the pictures out in the lobby area. Um, we have a, a fairly well-known photographer here taking pictures of, of uh, portraits of people with Usher syndrome. And you can do that upstairs in room E6. Uh, but if you need guidance getting there, we have four people here who will guide you upstairs so that you can have your photo taken. And I hope you'll uh, use that opportunity, use the breaks or any other time you have to go up there and get your photos taken. So, um, so welcome. Uh, this is the tenth time that we tenth uh, annual family conference that the Usher Syndrome Coalition has helped to organize. But this is the first time we've done it in Germany, and I can tell you, based on this crowd, we'll be back because this is uh, pretty amazing to see all this many people here. Um, I want to thank uh, uh, Armgard, who is just up here uh, um, handling all the accessibility. Sebastian, who's had a done a ton of work with organizing the, uh, the family side of things. And of course, uh, Uva and Kirsten, who organized uh, the whole uh, area here and did a ton of work on this. And, and I know I've been running around quite a bit. So I want to thank those guys for everything that they've done. Um, uh, the purpose here today, please. I suggest giving each of them a kiss when you see them. Um, so uh, the purpose here today really is to try and build an Usher Syndrome community. And uh, there's a lot of reasons for needing to do that. Um, uh, you know, we're all here to, uh, we're all interested in treatments. I know you're all here to learn about the science. Um, and, but the truth is that none of us are really concerned about going deaf and, uh, excuse me, being deaf and going blind. What we're really concerned about is being socially isolated. And that's the real problem with the disease, is that it separates us from the things we want to do and the people we want to be with. Uh, and that's what we're trying to, uh, to try and overcome with these treatments. So the medical side of it is really important because it gives us access to this other thing that we really want. Um, so uh, the way for us to get to these treatments is through you guys. Um, you are the source of uh, everything that happens in research. You are the source of the genotypic information that we found. So we know about the genes because we know people with Usher syndrome. We know about the phenotype, what happens with the disease because we know people with Usher syndrome. You guys are the sources of funding for all of the research that has happened, whether you have written a check uh, or you have run a fundraiser or you have just simply lobbied the government or lobbied a um, a funding organization, that's where the money comes from. Uh, it comes from you guys, whether directly or indirectly. And money is a critical component to finding any of this, uh, to finding this uh, research, uh, finding treatments. Um, uh, you guys are also uh, very important, though, for the next step in, um, in moving these treatments forward. Uh, you will hear in the science, uh, the science talks today, that um, we're getting pretty close to bringing stuff out of the clinic, out of the, um, the lab and into the clinic. But that next step is the big step. It's the most expensive step, and it also really requires you guys. Because to be able to get something from the lab to the clinic requires us to do clinical trials. That means trying this in humans for the first time. And clinical trials are not a guaranteed thing. In fact, uh, only one in 12 clinical trials results in a treatment in clinic. Now, that doesn't mean that they all fail. It means that a lot of it's trial and error. So you have to go through a lot of clinical trials to be able to get to the point that you have treatments for the entire community. Uh, and to be able to do those, all those clinical trials, you need a lot of people. And that means we need a big community. We need a lot of people in the community to participate to be able to move these things forward. 
Um, but we have a problem with that. And the problem is that we're not in touch with enough people with Usher syndrome. In fact, there are hundreds of thousands of people in the world with Usher syndrome, and we're only in touch with a small fraction of them, one or two percent of those people. And so we're going to need just about everybody to be able to move these things from the clinic into treatments. And so events like this, where we get to meet people and connect with people and hold on to people, are incredibly important for us to be able to make it to clinic and get things to the clinic. Um, you guys are also uh, an important factor in motivating pharmaceutical companies to invest in Usher syndrome research. Because pharmaceutical companies want a market. They want a place where they can sell their treatments. And so the more people that we can say we are in touch with, the larger market we can present to them, the better the chances are that they will continue to invest in the research for Usher syndrome. So uh, the community is important on those levels just to be able to deliver um, any sort of the treatments that we're going to talk about today. Um, but remember, ultimately what we're trying to cure here is not deafness or blindness, it's social isolation. Well, look around you. This is why we need this community, okay? You guys literally are the cure. There is no social isolation in this room today. There's 250 people here, right? Um, and uh, this is really what we want out of the community. I, in this room, you are not alone. In this room are people who understand you. There are people who are going through the same thing that you're going through. There is, people in this room are, share the same fears. We share a lot of the same goals. This is what we want. This is, this is the challenge to social isolation, is building this community. So there are treatments coming, and they will be here soon. But in the interim, we want the community so that we have each other, so that we have this, and we have opportunities to uh, be with people who love us, to be with people who understand us. There are people in this room who uh, understand me better than my own family. Because my aunts and uncles, they love me, but they don't know what it's like to have a child with Usher syndrome. But people in this room do. I have connections to people in this room who I have never met and I, that are deeper with them than it is with my own family. And so that's what we want to really build out of this. That's the goal of this community, is to fight that social isolation. And the best way to do that is to be together and to hang together on this stuff. So we have the means to find treatments. Um, and you'll see, hear that over the course of the day today. There's a lot of stuff, wonderful stuff coming. But in the meantime, we need each other. All right, so we wanted this, don't want this to be just a one-time thing where you guys come out today and then we lose touch with you. We want to maintain contact. We want you to join the different parts of the organization that help to uh, maintain uh, accessibility between each other. And uh, we don't want to lose touch with you. Um, th I don't want to meet you for one time and then not see you again. And I know that that's not the case. I'm looking over here at my friends from Australia, who I see on a regular basis now. My friends from Austria, who I see on a regular basis now. All right, so there's lots of people that um, I have become very close to simply because uh, of going to these conferences. And we want to maintain that connection. And we want to maintain that, that community. Okay? So that was all I wanted to say. <laughs>